Hi, good day, boys and girls. Welcome to another episode on the Auto Motor Channel. Today we are in a 2018 Kia Carnival. Now this is an absolute root of a people mover. And the version I'm in is the SI model which is powered by a 2.2 turbo diesel engine. It's got a modest 150 kilowatts at around 4K RPM. Its torque is a very respectable 440 Newton meters, which is very accessible throughout the RPM range. It's mated to a six speed automatic transmission, front wheel drive. Gearing is tuned, I feel quite well for normal driving. A very good acceleration from a standstill. There's, there's a little hint of uh, droniness, but the throttle response is quite good, particularly making use of the engine's torque. Uh, I've certainly got no complaints. It's got all the modern features one would require for you know, chauffeuring around uh, many, many bodies, um, and all the, all the onboard systems such as uh, rear, rear view cameras and parking, um, multimedia, very easy to use and simple stupid. I think Kia probably got one of the better uh, infotainment uh, systems. So my first impression behind the wheel is just how wide this uh, carnival feels. So access is quite good with these uh, remote assisted um, sliding doors. They can feel quite heavy to operate physically, but why bother when you've got two buttons that just slide it out? Pretty much the equivalent of a mini bus. It ticks quite a lot of boxes for the driver's position. There is quite a significant distance between the driver and passenger. The seats can fold down and be arranged in, in certain configurations, so yeah, it's quite handy to have that. And there's a very impressive uh, cargo capacity. Handling wise, it's not gonna feel like a car or a hatch or a sedan or even a, a wagon. It does feel like a boat, but the suspension feels like it's been tuned quite well for Australian roads, um, quite comfortable and the turning circle, it's not too bad. It does feel a little bit like a minivan, minibus, but um, it's, it's packaged quite well. I actually think it's got quite a nice stance, um, you know, maybe some bigger, bigger rims and wheels and it could be quite a boss, you know, mum or gangster van. <laughs> If one were to be in the market for a people mover, particularly if you're moving more than you know five people at a time, I'd seriously consider this. Um, you see quite a lot of them around the road. It's not so much as the you know Honda Odysseys or Taragos from back in back in 2000s, but uh, yeah, there's probably a, a good reason why you see a lot of carnivals around. Um, Kia really have stepped up their game. I've been really impressed by their Sorento um, and Sportage. I've got a couple of reviews on my channel. If you'd like to you know, check them out, uh, please you know, like and subscribe. It would certainly help me out. It does feel very much like a bullet train when you're giving it but driving normally, the fuel economy from this diesel is particularly respectable, um, averaging around eight liters, 100 kilometers. Um, but one thing to take into consideration is uh, if you're doing short trips, being a diesel, it does have a DPF um, and catalyst. So something you need to weigh up between, uh, if you're not able to do those long uh, 20 to 30 minute drives on a long stretch of road, it might not um, be good in your situation. Okay, cheers all, thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe and um, you know, give me any comments.